Hello my friends and welcome back. Another beautiful day in the garden. Hope you're all doing well. Today I wanted to talk about a flower that every gardener should be growing in their garden. Everybody. This is a cold tolerant flower that will perennialize in USDA climate zones three and up. It's one that you've seen in the backdrop of many of my videos. I've grown very fond of this plant for many reasons. For one, it's completely edible. Every part of the plant, the flowers, the leaves, the stem, the roots, it has medicinal qualities. You can use it to make uh, poultices. You can use it to make different skincare products, but it's beauty is what attracted it to me in the first place. And this flower is the hollyhock. It comes in many different colors. It's beautiful because it's a tall, spiky flower. And you can use it and cut it for arrangements, flower arrangements in July, August. But throughout the season, it's an amazing plant. And why it came to mind is because it's now starting to pop up throughout the garden. It does die back in the winter, but you can see here, these are all hollyhock. And this one is growing back. You can see the old stem here. It's growing back from the roots. So is this one. You can see the stem here as well. But I also have other hollyhocks popping up here and there from seeds that drop from the plant. It creates an abundance of seeds. Now it's not always referred to as a perennial, I guess because it dies back in the winter, but referred to as an annual, a biannual. Uh, but regardless, it has just so many uses. One of my favorites is that it attracts in bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds really like them as well. So here's what the seeds look like. Like little flat discs. And one plant will produce thousands of these seeds. Now to plant them, just simply put in a trench and put in a couple seeds. You're not going to want to do a whole row of these usually because one plant is showy enough in a particular area, but you can plant it up to about a half inch deep. It's a rather large seed. Just keep it watered. Now you can find many different styles of the hollyhock flower available all across the internet. So just do a quick search and you'll find seeds. Um, this year is a little bit different than others that it's becoming harder to find certain seeds So if you do have an issue, just let me know and I'll see if there's a way that I can uh, send out what I have I have a lot of seeds. Here's another one coming up at the edge of the hugel culture again You can see the old stick there Now another great thing about this plant is it has a deep tap root Whenever you have a plant that has a deep tap root that dives down further than other plants it essentially is mining up minerals and nutrients down lower than what most plants are able to access. And it comes up into the foliage of the plant, which makes it a good chop and drop. So anytime you come across a plant that has a life cycle where it dies in the winter, think of it as a possible chop and drop plant. And hollyhock is one of my favorites. Now, granted, there are a lot of seeds on the plant, so you would want to strip those off first unless you really want uh, this plant to take over. But in colder climates, most of those seeds are probably not going to survive. So with that, I want to thank you all for watching. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon.